we're acted upon. I see myself as nothing but a pawn on God's chessboard, where He is moving these different chess pieces to His purpose and glory to the end that man be checkmated and that God receive all the glory. So that's why we give thanks. He ordains adversity as well as prosperity. And again, people have a view of the world as if there's a tug of war between God and Satan, and we gotta got to get on God's side and help him win this battle. No. We move and live and have our being as he purposes. Every circumstance, when it says here in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, I know I'm dwelling on these words because we read it quickly. It's in everything, in everything. Every circumstance that comes our way is from God. We don't know one second from now what God has purpose for our life. I don't. We make plans. But it is God that determines what is and what isn't. We don't know, but we can look back. And I don't care what the pitfall, I don't care what the adversity, I don't care what the trial, all these things that you harbor still in your heart over the past. Think about how many people we talk to are still angry and upset and unsettled because of the past. Can't make straight what God what God has made perfect. See, that's that's the part where you can churn all you want to, but it doesn't change who God is, it doesn't change what your circumstances are. In everything, give thanks. It's only a depraved, rebellious heart, and that's what we have. So when we resist, and that's why the sheep need the rod and the staff. <laughs> the rod to smack them, the staff to pull them back. That's Christ doing that, but in every circumstance, that resistance and rebellion is really rebellion against God and how his hand is directed. We give thanks and everything because it's God that orders all things. When those went, these went. When those stood, these stood. So again, it's all a picture in a powerful imagery that gives to us God's attributes and characteristics in how he acts and moves and what he does. There's nothing that takes place by chance. Not the God of Scripture. Everything directed according to his will in his time. So it says, when those went, these went, verse 20, when those stood, these stood, when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. The very spirit of God, just because we live and move and have our being in him, so it is even in these, these creatures, these angels. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creatures was as the color of terrible crystal stretched forth over their heads above. And under the firmament were their wings straight and one toward the other. Every one had two which covered on this side and every one had two which covered on that side their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings like the noise of great waters. Notice, as the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of hosts, when they stood, they let down their wings. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads when they stood and had let down their wings. And above the firmament, this is just showing God's sovereign rule over all things, as high as you can go in the firmament, as low as you can go on this earth. But here are examples, again, of how God's children live in this world. And the more I read and the more I see what's in the world, but the more I see the evil even of my own heart. I rejoice and thank God for this truth right here, that the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. That is Christ the righteous one. He's the one that saves, he's the one that keeps. And uh, if in the end I am privileged to be one of those that is seated before him around that throne, singing worthy is the lamb that was slain, it will truly be all the glory belonging unto Christ alone, not to me. 
to him alone. Gracious Father, thank you for your word. And may we not take lightly what it is to be your child. It's all of grace from beginning to end. And it's all because of the work of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We dare not even think to look down our nose at anybody else for who they are and how they live. Because left to ourselves, we would be much the same or even worse. But oh, the privilege of having your spirit within us, causing us to own our sin and our sinfulness, but at the same time to honor your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and to give him all the glory, the one true righteous one who delivers his own. And for that, we give you the praise and honor in our dear Savior's name. Amen.